Previously on Survivor, with Zane seemingly on the outs, a plan was hatched to eliminate Morgan. At the immunity challenge, Itoto fell short, and a wild night of idol hunting followed, accumulating in Richard finding the first hidden immunity idol of the season. Although Zane's behavior still appeared to rub the tribe the wrong way, it wasn't enough to save Morgan from the vote. 14 are left. Who will be voted out tonight? I thought I was going home. I knew I was going I thought, honestly, after Max, what had Max had said, and Morgan had said against me that I was going home. So honestly, I'm in disbelief right now. I'm ecstatic. Um, because I feel like I got a second chance and I needed to change probably Aaron, Aaron's opinion of me. But I'm also firm in that the people who I trusted uh, had my back. It was hard in the fact that I, um, I had to go behind Morgan's back and I, I didn't want to. Um, and I guess I didn't have to, but I did. Um, and so, you know, moving forward, I think we all know there, there was an easier vote that could have happened tonight. I wasn't expecting that one. I clearly was out of the loop on that. Um, I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing. I mean, I, I kind of knew that she would get out like kind of soon anyway because she's very like strong personality and like kind of put herself out there and like as like the leader or whatever. So I guess I'm like not that surprised. I'm kind of more surprised that I just didn't know. Couldn't be more satisfied with how that happened. Look bug eyed. <laughs> because, um. Okay, my, my stomach talk. already hurts enough, guys. I right? like. God damn. We'll talk to <laughs> When I said I was nervous during the trial discussion, that was a straight lie. I was just like. <laughs> Dude, I was laughing so hard. I told, uh, in my. I mentioned that I was gonna keep that stone cold, like, Muhammad Ali, like, walk into the locker room, show no emotion. Amazing. And I try to keep that. And then during the hey, thing, the main coding, I'm like, oh, oh. Join the mic room for you. <laughs> they just say that I didn't eat before this for a reason. Um, that seems like a dumb idea. Uh, and now I'm really hungry, and I'm going to treat myself. <laughs> Going into this tribal, like, I was aware that this was the plan. And, like, before it even happened, like, my thing was I needed to, like, pull you aside and, like, just explain, like, everything and explain that like we all like really wanted to work with you yeah um and that it was just like we didn't we obviously like we knew like it just kind of happened that i was in a conversation where her name was brought up and i like went along with it so that's kind of how it started yeah and i didn't want to like again i didn't like no one wanted to single you out it was just like we didn't know your relationship with her yeah no i'm like fine with it because I kind of was expecting it to like happen it, soon yeah. anyway because yeah. I'm like she like definitely has like a big personality I feel like she's like definitely 
a target. So like, I'm definitely not upset about it. I just have no idea. Yeah, like, oh, no, 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 I know. <laughs> that, that was our thing. Was like, obviously, like, I don't want to say no. And That's like, what I was thinking. I was like, he's still... the easiest target after this. But he was a number. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, I like totally understand. I feel like honestly, like, yeah, it's probably the best. But like, and it's probably better that I didn't know because like. Then she doesn't feel as alone. So, so, you know what I, I mean? I, I I'm definitely not mad, that, like, that okay. I didn't know any. I just, like, I, I figured you guys, like, thought we were, like, closer than we actually were. Like, right. I really want to talk to her when, it, like, okay. when it, me and you, like, yeah. talk to her and like, even, together. And even then, like, obviously, you know, like, you were there for all the conversations, but I still just felt so guilty because, like, I pretty much did have to lie. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, it's just fair. It was so much that, like, I don't know. I was kind of not expecting that to happen, like, kind of soon anyway, okay. so, like, I'm okay. I'm just glad we're back on the same page. Yeah, yeah. And, like, totally. I promise, like, 100% honesty. Okay, like, we're good. We're good, okay. <laughs> um, basically, I was talking to Aaron afterwards. Things were going fine. And then I said, like, I was explaining the whole, like, Zane's an easy target, but he was a vote for us in this moment. And he was, like, not too far away. So that's the only thing. He didn't act like he heard anything. And but even if he did, it's all of us again. Right. It does, yeah. He doesn't have any sway with any. Obviously, he doesn't have an idol either because he said he, like, he was well, like super nervous. But that's the only other thing is that if he did hear it, he goes on a mad dash for an idol. Yeah, but yeah, at this think, point, it's been, it's been four days right, since but we Aaron, found But Aaron's fine though. Like she's with us. Aaron's good as okay. far as I know. She's, yeah. I mean, in regards to Zane finding an idol, it's been four days since the clue was found and lost. So, I mean, I think this, I think this idol up, is going to stay hidden for the rest of this game. Unless well, unless we get, unless there's another clue given, yeah. But. And the other thing is, you know, like, I don't know, he, there's no saying he even heard it. And right. there's no saying he, he's even going to act right. on it. Like, so. I mean, he'll be an easy next vote, and it'll be the easiest. I'm glad that this week is over. Right. Me too. She I was, was I was shaking. Guys, we pulled this. it off. I know. Yeah, we pulled it off. That's it. This is the three. She was shocked. Come on in, guys. Luai getting your first look at the Aitoido tribe. Morgan voted out at the last tribal council. For today's challenge, you'll be, you'll be competing in something we like to call idle hands. The objective of this challenge is to knock off opponent's cuffs from their platforms. If you are the first tribe to knock off your opponent's cuffs, you earn a point for your tribe. The first tribe to seven points when it wins immunity and is safe from the vote. Are there any questions? One more thing before we get started. Zane from the Aikoido tribe had to miss this challenge for personal reasons, so for why you'll be sending somebody out. That will give you a minute to strategize figure out who that is. Start. How do we want to decide who does it? Who is not going? Does anybody want to not? Or does anybody really, really, really want to? Yeah. And if you win the world the first round, you can do it again in the second round. And if you don't, then just whatever you get. And then, yeah, we'll just like feel it out. Round one, one on one. Who is going for each tribe? Tyler versus Richard. All right, on my go. Survivors ready? Go! Who I? Who I won? I toyed a zero. Round two, two on two. Who's competing? <laughs> Survivors ready? Go! Go! 
Alright, second cycle, round two, two on two, who's competing? We have Richard and Zandy versus Sam and Emily. I toyed it with three points, Puai with one point. On my go, survivors ready? Go! Max, Aaron, and Cam versus Jordan, Tyler, and Megan. I toyed it with three points, Pooh out with two points. On my go. Survivors ready? Go!
was your like, what's going on? And then I saw you picked it. I thought it was a band-aid. I was like, why are you I don't know. I was like, why do you think like, 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 Guys, let's all share. Sharing is fair. So it's after the challenge, yep. and we are chasing the other tribe. It's all of our tribe minus Noah because he had work. But right now we're trying to trap them. We're, trying to make we're out of breath because we were running for four seconds. <laughs> we won't do well in physical challenges, but... No. <laughs> we want this immunity item. Yes. No, we don't want them to have it. I don't care. We will follow it. them all day long. I finished. <gasps> I didn't turn in my assignment. I did turn in. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yo, we out here. Actually, like all five of us well, yeah. me, Max, Richard, uh, Cam, and uh, Aaron are all out here. We're um, looking for the idol. This time uh, we took a picture of the clue, so we yeah. don't lose it. <laughs> Tyler from the other tribe came over and he was like talking to us. Yeah, they definitely sent their people splitting. They up. were all following us, so. Right. Um, we we're trying to be like a little, a little bit incognito sneakier. about this. Oops. Yeah, a little incognito about the shit. Here we are. This is a little bit after the competition. We got the idol clue as a tribe. And us five, again. again. <laughs> part two. Part two, different clue. Sequel. Different idol, oh, we that, think. Hey, oh, that's, hey, look at that. What? Part two, different clue. Yeah. <laughs> Bars. Dude, we're creating our own idol clue. Oh yeah. Bars. Um. Right now we're heading to the clock tower because the clue said something about time. We checked University Hall already. Couldn't find it there. Yep. Um, so. We had to escape the other tribe that was trying to follow us. Right. What's his name? Tyler came up to us. Like, they were deaf. Gonna follow you. Right. Like, okay. Please go away. Right. So we got rid of him. And hopefully no one else is up here waiting. We gotta be careful. There are a lot of cats on North Campus trying to oh, yeah. take our clue 100%. <laughs> a lot, a lot went down right after the challenge, but um, yeah. yeah, so I don't know. What are we talking about? Basically, right after the challenge, we tried to follow the other tribe to see if they went looking for the idol, yeah. which they did. And it was kind of funny because I think they were just pissed off that we like followed they them. Were following. I really <laughs> wanted to go with you. Yeah, I know. It just was. You were okay. working south, and I really wanted my frost tea. Oh I think Megan. I think Megan was a little sketched by me because she's like, guys, I'm just gonna go north. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna follow them. And I think she like was like, why is Tyler so into yeah, looking for it? Low key, I was slightly sketched too. I'm not gonna lie. To by you. me wanting to look for it. Yes. Really. I just wanted to see if they would find it. I, I mean, I, true. I, that, was, that was my rationale. I was just like, if he follows them and sees them get it, that's the only information he can find out. It's not that's like you're going to walk up and be like, hey guys, it looks like you found the idol. Can yeah. I have it? Can I have <laughs> it? That's true. I wasn't going to be able to true. get it. That's I was just going to be able so. to see that's if fair. they had that's it. That's fair. We, we think the idol's on North Campus because you guys saw him looking on North. Yeah, they were, and they were I'm walking sure... back from North. I think it was Max and I don't know. The girl with the braids. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they were trying to throw us off by going south. Oh, I thought it, oh, it wasn't with the braids You're right. Short, like You're right. It wasn't her. Um, I'm sketched out by Zandy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why is everyone sketched out by Zandy? Everyone was like, I literally am not sketched having out problems. Not out sketched out by I'm not sketched out what by anybody. What has she anybody? done to make you sketched out? I I don't know. I just think she's very cocky about her place in that group. She. I think she's on the outside. You think so? Absolutely. You think Did you really? watch them during the challenge at all? She was a foot away from them as they were discussing things. That's true. That's true. I was kind of. What did she do to make you think? Well, although well, I want to hear your rationale. Well, although it does make sense though because she didn't even go with them to go idol hunting, which I think is stupid on her part. 
She could just be no playing idea. Relax. So you're right. Playing it loose. That would look sketchy. Maybe she had something going on. Who knows? Maybe yeah, I don't like know. Noah, Noah. Maybe I'm just too sketched out. Maybe I read things the wrong way, which is probably true. Do we want to throw one vote on one other person this week, just in case Zane is available? We might want to, um, just to be safe. And it also depends a lot on who Zane wants to vote for. Who, you know? like, if you had to pick one more person from our tribe to go, who would it be? Like, just in case if we do lose, like, the next, next one. Because, like, I like everybody right now. Like, I know. Six of that, us. that would like, be I... a really hard discussion. Um, I feel like the one with most reason to vote against would be Max, even though, like, obviously that's, mm -hmm. I'd have to pick one. Then when I don't want to pick one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, like, I mean, like, there's also the discussion of, like, people think that Zandy's on the bottom, too, so. Well, like, I like, yeah. It's hard, because I like, like both of them, you know? I think, I think Zandy we could probably, like, work more with, though. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. Max is more, like, strategic, and I don't know if you can go with Zandy, like, a lot, but, like, yeah. Like, I saw her today, too. Like, we met up before the challenge to just, like, you know, say hello. Like, we ate lunch. Mm -hmm. And, like, I think she'd, like, genuinely, like, I think, like, she's just here to, like, make friends and everything like that. So I think we could, like, for as long yeah. as, like, we needed, like, she's there. Yeah. I texted Zane just to be, like, hey, is everything, like, okay? <laughs> like, right, with your yeah. health and stuff? And he's, like, yeah. Obviously, the plan is to get rid of him, but I feel like he's going to ask me who. Yeah, that's what so, we all need to decide. Yeah, I was going to say whose name. Um, I feel like he's only going to be willing to write two names down. And I think you know whose names they are. Max and Aaron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the thing is, I know we don't want Aaron to feel isolated in the Alliance. And I know, but I also know, whenever Max hears his name is getting brought up at all, he starts freaking out. He does out. start freaking out. <laughs> and so, like... Yeah, that's, that's fair. And so, um, I don't know. I don't know about you, but Tanner also mentioned this, like, if we have to go to another tribal council, I think maybe it'd be Max. I feel like looking at it from a challenge perspective and also who's going to understand, like, team goals... Yeah. I think Aaron's a little bit better just seeing how, like, that's the other thing we were talking about is if we're going to feed a name to Zane. Like, yeah, if we, we were to yeah. see Max's name, he would freak out. He freaked out the last time, too. And yeah. I was like, you need to, like, calm down. Like, either, like, that's the whole thing with Tanner, too. Like, either, like, A, you don't trust us, or, like, B, you, you just need to, like, take a, like, absolute chill pill. Because, yeah. Because, like, in reality, it makes no sense for them to lie to us because we were the only people they were working with. Yeah. Yeah. So... I, I'm going out of town this weekend, mm -hmm. so we, they, we were going to do the challenge on Sunday, and I told them I couldn't be there, and they moved it to Thursday to make sure everybody could be there. But do you think that that might mean that they're going to do a tribe swap? I don't... They, we have the, the right amount of people for a tribe swap at this point. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I mean, I think there's going to be a swap at some point. I think if there was going to be one, it would be either this challenge or the one after that mm -hmm. I don't think they do it any later than that yeah. but um, so I, I think I feel like it's probably gonna happen on Thursday have you thought at all about if we lost the next challenge and we didn't swap yeah I don't know what do you think max yeah. really yeah <laughs> um the talks I, I think they went well you see sporadically throughout the week I've been trying to plant little seeds of doubt in people's heads that Max is not all he's cracked up to be I don't he just there's just something that's I don't know if it's just that he's like worrying too much or that he just like doesn't trust us but it seems like it seems like he does not trust us yeah I definitely give you that I like how this week we like know so certainly what's gonna happen. Yeah. That like we don't even have to talk about it. <laughs> Zane, I'm Zane. sorry, Zane. I feel I, I sorry, I'm sorry. I feel bad because he's like not here to like do anything about. It, but like at the same time, he's not here. So like, yeah, it kind of just makes sense to get rid of him. Like, I mean, yeah, it sucks because I feel like. 
he would be loyal to us, but like he's, he's just too, too much. He's too much of like a, a wild, wild card. card. Yeah, to like <laughs> he really is too much of a wild card to keep around. Though, like, yeah. like I'm just imagining going into a swap with him, and it would just not be. You good. just never know what he's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, like. Exactly. I think he would be loyal, but I literally think he would, like, he's just like... I just don't want to risk it, like, I, I mean, that's the thing about Max, is like, I don't really trust Max, like, fully, but like, I don't think he would flip on us either, though, like, mm -hmm. I think he would still be there, but like, I'm not proposing getting rid of Max this week. Oh. Um, I know Zane's gotta go. Oh, is that what you... Well, that was like... I guess it could be a thing, but like, I don't know, I'd be kind of laughing at the other one. I want to give Max a big shout out for painting a huge target on his back. Zane's just too good for my game to get rid of. <clears throat> He's just too loyal to me, or at least I hope he is. Zane would be still here potentially in a... Weird, like... <laughs> yeah, like, like a potential swap and then... And like... Is he even gonna be here? Like, when is he? Yeah. Is he here right now? Where is he? <laughs> what is going on? With I guess that? like I'm not. I wouldn't count it out if that's like really what you want to do. But I don't want to like make it seem like telling people. What to do. No, I I'm like I'm open to it because I definitely think he should probably be the next one gone. As me and Tanner started talking, we kind of realized that Max is a bigger threat and that. He's really paranoid, so if he did have an idol, he would for sure use it. Like, this first second, he didn't feel comfortable. I mean, maybe, I just don't know how Zane is gonna be. Cause I haven't really talked to him that much. You know him more than I do. Yeah. So. I mean, the thing about Zane is like, I'm gonna tell him to write Max's name down anyway. Cause that's what we agreed upon. That's so funny that he thinks Max is the one that voted for him. Keep, keep Isn't that funny? thought. It's like it hilarious. It's like, like, well, Max didn't do himself any favors during the trial. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Just make it seem like he actually was the one that voted for him. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Okay, so I'm on the phone with Richard right now. Say hi, Richard. All right. So, I talked to, well, I talked to Cam yesterday, you know, you also talked to Cam yesterday, and I talked to Zandy today, and I talked to Aaron today, and there seems to be a general sort of mistrust with Max, yeah. Like, for real, for real? For real, for real. And as we were looking for the idol, it just kind of seemed like Cam, Cam and I kind of agreed that if we found it, we didn't really want to tell Max immediately, or we didn't want yeah. Max to see it, because there's just a little, there's just something like everyone, like Cam and Aaron both agree, there's just something about like talking to him where it's like, it just seems like he's not telling us everything that he knows. We're just kind of like, talking about things before we have the challenge on Thursday. I think there's just a lot of things that are just suspect right now that are just making us nervous about what's gonna happen in this game. Anything is possible, I'm just saying. In the game of Survivor, anything is possible. I'm really hoping that things go well, that we don't swap. I don't need that added stress this week, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm very comfortable in Pauai, so that's why I I'm very nervous about switching potentially because that makes me feel way less more comfortable. Um, I think if you and I are on the same tribe, I think it'd be perfect if we had Tanner on our tribe. I think we have to get, he seems like power hungry. Why would it be perfect to have him? He's high key. I don't know. I, I, seem, I feel like he's a very strategic guy. Okay. Yeah. Potentially. I don't know. I don't I've gotten good vibes from the big guy, Max. Really? Yeah. He seems super nice. Um, and I, I don't know. So, if I get put on his tribe, I'll probably try to talk to him. Yeah. But regardless of when we swap, um, I am nervous that I'm not gonna be 
with Sam or Tyler. If I get on a tribe with Haley and Megan, like I feel like I'm on the outs at that point. Maybe. Haley still wants to work with me, so like hopefully, but Megan, I don't know. I don't know where her and I stand. So it's two days since the challenge. Since the challenge. Have you met up with anybody at all? I have not, other than like our casual little thing I want to say. This is like a very this is like a really far reach. Say we don't do a tribe swap yeah. and we lose the next challenge. <laughs> Are you even thinking about that at all? About what? Like about like if we if uh, the seven of us have to go back to tribal, who would we vote out? I think that I can trust Emily, but she is at the same time just giving me weird vibes. Like she doesn't text me. I always text her first. The only person that makes me nervous is Jordan, and I think that. And you were on that Tuesday. Yeah. So. And I think that Sam had said he was nervous about Jordan. I mean, so if we if we stay as a tribe, are we just instantly targeting you? I don't know. I feel like if we stay as a tribe and lose another challenge, I don't, I feel like we work together so well that like it right. wouldn't really be a specific person's fault or right. anything. Yeah. Because like even during that, that was barely a team challenge and like we still did well. And even with the volleyball, we still did well and it was yeah. a team challenge. Right. So I think we've grown a lot since we lost. So do you think Puai is going to go strong on Thursday? Or are you expecting some changes? Um, changes. Yeah, probably. I feel like yeah. the way that they were so accommodating is concerning. Yeah, like yeah. that's who we're back at and I were just for me. Right. One person. It's a lot of mosquitoes out Right. Yeah, I think... I'm going to switch up. I mean, I, everyone, like the rumor is like it's going to be a trap swap. That's right? what I'm thinking. That's what's happening, yeah. Which, I mean, for us, us four specifically, that sucks. I, th I think we have to talk to the other people in our tribe. Like, we don't want them to feel isolated because that'd be too easy for them just to flip on us, you know? So in general, Kuwai is strong regardless of or swap. We want to be a strong seven, right? Like, yeah, because I mean, having the numbers is helpful. Yeah, I mean, it is nice going in with one more person than they do because um, we'll have the majority on one tribe. Moving forward past like this stage of the game, like who I trust and who I want to work with. Um, so, yeah, like I just feel like of the four people in our alliance, like sometimes I feel like Sam doesn't tell me the whole truth, even though I do trust him. Like I trust our alliance to move forward and, and yeah. do what's best for the four of us. But um, I think you and me, like I want to have your back, and like I'm hoping that you have my back. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I'm the same way around with you, too. Yeah, I don't know about the other three members of um, Kuwai right now, um, with Megan and Jordan and Haley. They kind of seem like they're talking more together, but I can't really tell. Um, you know, people in the lines did say that uh, Jordan and Jordan and uh, Megan were talking a lot, so I kind of can see that. They do seem like they do kind of jive well with each other and like agree with each other's statements so but they only have two people so but I do think that they think they have an alliance with other people I know Jordan asked me back a few weeks ago that I should be part of the alliance with them and Sam and then apparently Emily also was told the same thing so but I think that um they definitely would not go very far so if nothing happens this week i think jordan definitely will be the pick for our tribe at least for now our alliance will last but going forward as we especially if we all make it through past the merge right yeah so i don't know man i got your back got your back bro hi how's it going it's andy and tyler i was just telling him about um everything that we went through with Morgan. Aaron and Morgan were like a duo. Right off the bat. Yeah, so. The people knew. Everybody knew. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, so Morgan was not just, she was like, oh my gosh, everybody wants to meet with me. Like, I am, it was, it was bad. Like, she was really placing herself at like the forefront. Okay. So we convinced her that we were gonna vote out the same. 
and then everybody voted for Morgan. So that was big moves right away, which was kind of... Yeah, that's essentially what we did with Jordan um, and Kim. We told Kim Jordan, and then everyone voted up Kim. Yeah. Um, so that's essentially what we did, too. Yeah. Here's the thing. That's why I asked, like, is everyone talking to each other? Because on my tribe, it doesn't seem like people get sketched out with people talking to each other, like everyone talking to everybody. You mean, like, with our tribe? No, with... Like, the whole tribe being cool with everybody meeting with everyone. Like, one-on-one -on -one group. Like, it doesn't seem to phase people too much. Yeah. Except it sketches me out a lot. Because I don't want everyone talking to everyone all the time. I don't think it's a good thing. Yeah. At least for my gameplay. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, like, I have what I feel is, like, a pretty solid alliance of three, plus me being four. Mm -hmm. And I think there's three on the outside, but we haven't had to test it at all because yeah. we won the last two. Right. Um, so I, I don't really know who I can trust, but um, I feel like the three that I have, Emily, Sam, and Noah. Okay, so this is, this is the big thing why I wanted to meet today is because I am, like, almost 100% sure that we're swapping at the challenge. Okay. Like, maybe a thousand times percent. Like... Okay. Because why else would they want to push the challenge directly being after, or the, the challenge that directly after your tribal mm -hmm. um, and want to make sure that everybody is there if yeah. they're not going to swap and give us a whole week to be with the new tribe. In terms of gameplay, I think me and Zandy staying low key, not letting anyone know that we're meeting and talking is our best bet because as soon as people find out, big old target right on our backs. So I think there's a chance we get put together, but again, like anything could happen. If there was a swap, do you feel like they would stick together or do you think there's people who would try to flip? Um, I think everybody would stick together. I think my I tribe was the same. I would try and stick together with them as well, not be like, <laughs> have them get sketched. What if we try and um, keep it on the DL even yeah. after the tribe swap? Yeah, I don't think we should work together unless we absolutely have to. Okay. And I think more than anything else, we just inform each other about what That's the cool. other alliance is doing. Okay. And so we can protect each other from each other's alliance. So like not necessarily Sounds working good. together, but protecting but each protecting other. each other. Um, Sounds good. Because I mean, information is honestly the biggest deal. I agree. So I like that. I think that works. Sounds good. All right. So have you met with anybody else this week besides like the idol hunt and everything? No, I mean I think everyone's kind of just on the I same think, page. I uh, think, yeah, so like, like, yeah. Everyone's kind of just taking it easy before I, yeah. things potentially get thrown. Like, in like the I'm only getting back into the swing of things today because you know, like, I was pretty sick. So, mm -hmm. uh, like, if yeah, so like, like, all right. So Zane this week. I'm getting a weird vibe though, and I don't know if it's just me being paranoid or if there's actually something to worry about. It's just like, when I met with Richard, he kept pressing me about a name. If for some reason we don't, if we don't swap and we lose the next immunity. If we don't swap, what's going on? Like in your head, like what are you thinking? Which is absolute worst case scenario. So he wanted me to give him a name and he kept pushing and pushing and he wouldn't give a name. I have no idea. I mean, I feel like the easiest thing for, like, us is, like, Erin, because I feel like we're the least close to her. If you, me, and Tanner had, like, someone we wanted to, like... Like, if you had to pick right now, like, who would it be? I don't know if he was just trying to get information from me, or if he was just generally curious, or if he was planning to report, hey, Max said to so-and-so that... Or Max said to me that so and so should be the next one out. Cause if that's the case, that's really fucked up. But I have no way of knowing. Obviously, like if you need anything or if you feel like any sort of way, like let me know. And like I'll again like in turn right. do the exact same. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Richard wanting to meet with me today was like a, like an info grab or if it was sincere. I guess we'll kind of have to see. I really like to work with these people, like long term, but it's gotta take it day by day. Aaron, I agree with what you said. Like, if we lost, if we didn't swap and we lost the next challenge and Max had an idol, 
He'd probably play it just because he's so paranoid. So that means because we don't have, well, we have another target like in my well, I'm assuming based on like what we've talked about, if we lost on a challenge, Max would be the ideal person to go home after yeah. Zane, right? So like in that case, if he were to like figure that out, you know. And it's like this, if, if we were to do, if we were to, if there was ever a time to like get Max out of the game, it would probably be now, unless, you know, because you never know, Max is like a strategic player and Max is always going to do what's like, what's best for Max. He's like, I don't mm -hmm. think that he would. I don't think he would stick with us if we... If it didn't benefit him, I agree. If like, or if he saw it as like not benefiting him, I don't think that he would like be the, loyal to us moving forward. The thing is, I feel like I'd be fine with Max or Zane going home. I just need to, we just need to figure out like what order, I guess. I'm fine with either, that, but that's why I want to talk to you guys to see like yeah, which no, one what you guys thought. Said, which one? Like I'm mm -hmm. open to either. I just wanted to throw out like maybe things that we haven't thought about before. Right. Maybe we should see. make a pros and cons list. Yeah. Should I do it? Do it, yeah. Should I do it? Should I make it? I mean, okay. <laughs> I, like, the extent that I've thought about it is just assuming it'd be Zane then Max. Like, I haven't thought about a bunch outside of that. I mean, genuinely, I, I think the group could go either way with Zane or Max, and I'm cool with either. So, it doesn't really matter for me. My vote could go either way. So, at this point, like, Everything's up in the air, and there's nothing set, and that's where I'm gonna thrive. So with Zane, he's unpredictable, he doesn't really mesh well with us, and he's like, I don't know, what was another bad thing? I'll do three bad things. He's just like, I don't know, just like, I don't feel like he works very well with the team. It's not like yeah. I don't think he's putting in effort, it's just... I think mean, he's like kind of awkward. I think he kind of like yeah. frustrates a lot of people. And then, but good things about him, he's probably going to be better at challenges. He would probably stay loyal to us, and he probably doesn't have an idol. And if he did, he would probably tell us. Yeah. Which, so, at least, I think is more than we know about Max. Like, and if, if he had one, I don't know that he would tell us. Bad things about Max, he might have an idol, and is paranoid, so he'd probably play it next week. He is a little sketchy, and he, um, what's something else? Well, bad guess, in challenges. How? Or not bad, okay, like more of a liability in challenges. In challenges. But the good how? things about him is that he's smart, he would get well with other, like, get he along well. He is not going to work with us, too, as with far as, people, you know. know. Um, my other thing is, like, how certain are we that a swap is gonna happen? Because if a swap happens, like, it might not even be detrimental to our tribe necessarily keeping Max around. Like, you know, there's just no way to tell what would happen if we swapped. I was really skeptical and I threw out a lot of questions at first, but, like, the more we talked about it and the more I kind of sat back and thought about it, like, I, I can see it, so. I'm, like, down to do what everyone, like, feels comfortable with, because, like, I think that we can all agree that on our tribe, like, we're gonna want to get out. Max and Zane, like, eventually. Eventually, at some point. So, like, I guess we just have to think of, like, who's better to get out right now. Well, <laughs> alright, so everyone say who they're voting for on three. One, two, three. Richard! <laughs> <laughs> alright, um, glad we got that out of the way. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be too difficult. No. I do feel like he is, he's still not back. No, I still like reason I kind of feel like a little bad, but then like yeah. yeah. Wait, he's not back? No. I guess he's still not. not. I don't know. When's he getting back? He told me like seven. Oh my goodness, <laughs> poor guy. Dude, he's having it close. Just in yeah. time for the dead period. Just in time for the dead period. <laughs> so yep, he spent the whole week at MIA. Yeah, I feel a little bad, but yeah. yeah. He also yeah. hates me, so I don't know if I'm not happy. I'm not too worried. I think Zane should be going home. It makes no sense for them to be voting for me anyway, because I'm a number for them going down the road, and if they don't vote for me now, then I'll vote with them for the rest until it needs to change. Um, we're about to go to Tribal, and then we're going to have like an hour break, and then we're going to go to our challenge, 
Um, I hope you like my poster. It says Nugs, not drugs. Stay clean, kids. I, for me, my vote could genuinely be considered up in the air. He's the one that I trust the least to stay on our side. Um, and he would be the most likely to protect his own game. Okay, I am literally doing this um, not even like a minute uh, since I've been back. I'm surviving, like literally just like the competition itself. And I'm thriving. I want people to understand that. I was I was probably getting 50 to 75 percent of my efforts in the past couple of weeks. Now I'm back, I know what's wrong with me, I'm treating it, and I'm ready to go. My energy is like, whoo, it's back, okay? Because you don't get me down. Come on in, guys. So, I'm just gonna jump right into it, Cam. Last tribal, I asked you, or I ended off with, you know, what did you guys need to do with avoiding coming back here? You're back here, you said you guys needed to take a day off. Is that what happened with this tribe? Definitely, yeah. You guys I, all took a day off? That was, that yeah. was it? Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was good. It was good. So last tribal was a lot more feisty, for lack of a better word, specifically involving you, Max, with uh, Zane and Morgan, who was voted out of the last travel council. Um, but despite that, your effort and the challenge, you guys worked really well as a team and came probably that close to winning immunity. Um, so talk to me about, you know, competing that challenge and, you know, getting so close to a victory. I mean, it sucks that we lost by that much. I mean, we all, I mean, we definitely had strategies that worked well together. And I mean, it, I don't think it's anything like on our, on like any one person's fault by, by we lost. I mean, it was just that much. All right, well then, Tanner, I want to go back to you then. So, something happened involving you during the challenge while we were in replay review, uh, I think discussing the very last point. Uh, you quite literally slid over to the other tribe. What was that about? Well, Richard and Aaron and Max we talked about how it was a clue, or what we called was a clue, and it turned out to be a clue, yeah, under the, uh, one of the cones on the other tribe's thing. And so they were just like, yeah, why don't you just run over there and grab it? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I did, because I didn't want them to have it. I want us to have it. I didn't want another tribe to get an idol. I kind of want to touch on that too a little bit, because last Friday you kind of touched on the same thing with you, Richard. Um, you guys got a clue in the Hot Pursuit Challenge that you shared as a tribe, and you described the ensuing night as pandemonium was your, uh, was your exact word. Was that how this time was too, with everybody getting another clue to an idol? No, I mean, going to look for it this time, we were definitely like more unified as a team because the other tribe kind of followed us out after the challenge to like follow us and look for the idol so that way they can kind of like know where the idol was. So we led them to a completely different side of campus and then went and looked for it um, collectively for about like 20, 30 minutes and then we dispersed. And then later in the week, um, as a tribe, people went and looked for it again. I wasn't able to go, I was sick this week, um, but. Uh, as far as everybody knows, like, we haven't found it yet, so we just gotta keep looking and hopefully we can get it so that way we can manage it with the other tribe. But a swap. Yeah. I think kind of followed it is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> there were literally all eight of them waiting on the corner for us to leave the parking garage and they started following us as we went yeah. back and forth. It was pretty bad. Um, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, and then eventually, like, they all kind of, like, left, and, like, like the only person kind of, like, following us, though, was Tyler, and he just kind of, like, yeah, I don't know, he, like, awkwardly followed behind us for, like, two or three minutes, and then left, so, I mean, he really wanted that idol. I think he really wanted something, but he just kept coming. So where did you guys take them if you said that the entire tribe was following you guys? I mean, anybody can follow them, it's not just you. So, yeah, we went to South Kansas. And just like, stood there, or? They kind of looked like, around and left. We pretended to like look in some trees and like, I don't know. We're just, pretty sly. Yeah. Do you think they bought <laughs> it? I mean, we haven't seen no. anybody. But. No, I have no idea. Hopefully. I think, I think if anything, they don't have any other ideas. Yeah, exactly. So. Like, they don't have the clue, so we're you know, yeah. like, So it sounds like you guys are a lot more unified than certainly what it seemed to me at the last tribal with a lot of, you know, back and forth. And I kind of want to touch on that again next. Um, so you and Zane were particularly kind of going at it with Morgan too, but she's not here anymore. Um, has that rift been settled now? It seems a lot more calm this week, but kind of talk to me about that, you know, getting past that. <laughs> so, I mean, 
the way I like to look at things is like the past is the past. And like whatever he may or may not have said about me in the past, it's like we're moving forward. I don't, I don't want to keep dwelling on things that happened week one in this game. It's like there's no point in that. Okay. you respond to that? I'm, I'm pretty much at the same point as Max. Uh, I've been gone for a whole week. My doctors told me, they said, hey, say, you got to stop stressing. You got to let shit go. And, you know, I'm moving, I'm moving forward. I ain't thinking about the past, you know. Uh, I'm here for the moment, the future. Then sticking let me, let me add one more thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this is your time, dude. Uh, I don't like how Tyler was following them around. Like, yeah. I'm going to have to give him a message then. You don't, mess, <laughs> you don't mess with my tribe like that. I don't know why he was following like that. You know, that, that pisses me off. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's all I got for. What kind of message are you going to send? Tyler? Yeah. Here, Dave, right I'm, 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 I'm going to get in his face. Like, I'm going to let him know. I'm calling my tribe. I don't, I don't know who he's messing with. You don't follow me around. Except it's my mama. It's my mama and she can follow me around. So like that's the only person that can follow me. That and my Uber. That's it. <laughs> so what if the challenge is a puzzle and it's nice and quiet? Are you still going to get in his face? Of course. <laughs> if it's a puzzle, I'm going to get in his face even more. I'm going to stay in his face as long as I have to to let him know. Who's he talking to and who's he messing with? Cause you gotta let him know. Yeah, get inside his head. You got it. You're good. All right. Okay. Okay. I got your energy. You're good. I, I guess that's what a week in the hospital do. Yeah. <laughs> so then, if the past is the past, I want to kind of talk about the future. There's been a lot of speculation about a potential swap either tonight or on Sunday um, after this travel counter. <laughs> What's your take on this, Aaron? I mean, it's probably coming. I'm like a little nervous just because we're going to be one man down after tonight. So like that's always something to consider. But I don't know. I feel like we're all really strong as a group. And I feel like moving forward, we will stay that way. Um, so I mean, I guess there's no way to really prepare for it. You just kind of have to go with the flow once it happens. OK, so Tanner, has the speculation of a swap weighed in at all in your decision making for this vote? Um, yeah, kind of, uh, I think we all, like, kind of had it in our head what we were going to do, um, I mean, the swap does change things, but I wouldn't say it's the most important thing when going into making a decision, but it definitely does factor into it. So then how do you plan ahead for something in the future? You're saying it does factor in, how are you planning ahead? You just want to make sure that you're going forward with the people who, uh, who you can trust, you know. You just want to make sure that you're keeping around the people that you want to go further with. So Zane, it's quite apparent that you need trustful numbers on your side um, for success in this game, according to the responses that we just got. Um, we have a challenge in under two hours now, and you guys have lost two in a row. What do you have to do to make sure that you, your tribe doesn't lose, or what does your tribe have to do, rather, to to make sure you guys don't lose three challenges in a row and come back here, you know, next week. We got here to swagger back. That's pretty much it. I mean, they were really close at the last challenge. I wasn't there. Uh, I'm back now. Uh, a little bit more energy with me. And I feel like, you know, I can add that missing piece. And we can do well at the challenge tonight. Um, we gave ourselves uh, a night off last, at the last tribal because it was a feisty tribal. Uh, so I feel like we should talk to one another, uh, keep an open mind, you know, uh, talk about all the strategies. And uh, we're gonna get our swagger back and we're gonna win tonight. Woo! <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> so there's, you're talking a lot about getting your swagger back yeah. and, and getting up in their face and yeah. stuff. And that's, you know, it's nice to end on a positive note, but you guys have to book somebody out in about five minutes. So is there anything else, anything else that anybody wants to say that you feel like you need to say? Otherwise, we're going to get to the vote. I just love all you guys. You all rock. It's time to get our swagger back. And it's time to get our swagger back. <laughs>
All right, well, if we want to leave it at getting your swagger back, then it's time to vote. <laughs> and Zane, you're first up. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and walk on. This is your time. It's time to get our swagger back. Before I read the votes, if anybody has a community item and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. <coughs> First vote. One vote max, one vote same. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. I definitely had my suspicions, and I said it in several confessionals the past few days. Cam, Richard, Tanner, they were all acting sketchy. They knew that Zane was going to vote for me, so they knew they only needed three. So I don't know if people thought I was just like sketchy because like I tried to meet with people, or yeah, I don't know. Why. I don't know. I just want to know why they think Zane is going to be a number for them going forward into this swap, and I will. Next time on Survivor. It's the swap they've all been waiting for. Everybody drop your buffs. Old alliances will be tested, and new relationships will form. And an unprecedented two-hour challenge will test the willpower of the contestants.